I thought maybe I lost you. Yeah, we meet again. You see, my doctor, God bless his soul. thought it would be wise for me to have more social interactions. So, I thought I would knock out two birds with one stone. Just one. And, a series of tests on you. All these talk shows, just people talking, talk, talk, talk. No real value there. But we continue to live in this bubble. A society. Makes me sick, if I'm being honest. And searching the classifieds of this wonderful newspaper. There's not many opportunities out there for people like you and me. Exceedingly rare. But what can you do? I did find a few pennies on the sidewalk earlier, so that's a start. But back to why you were here. My psychiatrist performed a series of tests on me and um, said I was a rare case. Don't really know what that means, but since I have you here, maybe we can compare apples with oranges. Here, have a quarter. Yeah, just put that there in your pocket. Good. So, what I was thinking we could do was something like a cranial nerve exam. Does that sound interesting? Okay, good. That's exactly what I was looking for. So, how this goes, at least from what I can recall from my memory, I think, essentially, I just have to test your senses to see if you are like me. I think that's how that goes. My results were as my psychiatrist stated were off the charts. In a downward spiral you can assume. I assume. And she really, really, really hurt my feelings when she told me that. So I'll try my hardest not to project my pain onto you. That wouldn't be fair. 
in life is supposed to be fair, isn't it? It's not. So, our first test, I would like to see how you feel things dull and sharp around your face. That's the most sensitive area. Did you know that? It is. So, again, I have a wonderfully sharp, very, 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 very sharp razor blade here. And I'm just going to ask you. what I'll do is I'll poke you with this side for doll and I'll poke you with that side for sharp okay so close your eyes sharp good Yes, that was a doll. And oh, sharp. I didn't mean to draw blood there. I apologize. This city gets louder every day. It exhausts me. I have good news, you passed that portion of the test, but we're not quite done. Not quite. Now, you see, what I have to do is check your eyes eyeballs to make sure that your eyes work. The eyes are very important. They help you see the strangeness of the world. And without your eyes, you would never get to see a beautiful face such as this one. A gorgeous man I am. So, just look right here while I check your eyes. Good. Good. Very, very good. 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 Let me see your mouth. I can tell that your upbringing was much more pleasant than mine. Smile. Yes. Smile really big. That's a 
pretty, pretty smile you have there. Look right here, where it says, ha. Huh. Good. Keep looking back there, please. Good. You're doing a good job, but don't be scared. I can see tears forming right there in your tear ducts. I promise you I will not let anything bad happen to you while you're in my care. What sort of a host will I be then? Hmm? I can tell you, a bad one. And I am not a bad man. Simply a little bit misunderstood. That's all. Let me see the inside of your eyeball here. I'm going to pull your eyelid up. Good. Pulling your lid down now. Good. And your other eye here. Oh boy. I really, really don't want you to cry. Stop. Stop it. Stop it right now. Good. Thank you. Hmm, saline solution, my favorite. Okay, now, after understanding that your eyes work and your feeling on your face is exactly what we would think it's supposed to be, let's go ahead and move to our vision test. Let me know when my finger enters your peripheral. Good. 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 Go ahead and try that. Almost like you're calling in the Batman. Sweet young thing. Okay. Let's see if you can smell. I have a soft spot in my heart for this test. My mother used to tell me I stink when I was just a young, young child. She would say, son, why do you smell so bad? Wash the stench off of yourself at once. 
And then she would hold me down in the bathtub and scrub my skin so hard it would leave welts and my flesh would fall off the rag. Can you believe that? She was a very mean woman. So now I make sure I smell good at the very least. Tell me what this smells like. No, that's not right. This is chloroform. Involvement fluid, yes. Better luck next time. Unmistakable, this one. Yes, gasoline. Good job. We just have a few more. this one smell like? What does this smell like? Yes. It smells just like dish soap. That's what my mother used to wash me with. Dish soap. You don't like black licorice? Why not? Well, that's not very nice. What did it ever do to you? What did it ever do to you? Okay. I thought about using that in our taste test, but I just now decided against it. I have these little pods here. It's actually a thumbtack. And what I'm gonna do for this portion of the test is just make sure that you can taste things. Uh, quite easy for most folks, but again, I'm an anomaly, an outsider, because I know, soppy backstory. When I was little, I had gasoline poured down my throat by my stepfather, and it burned out my taste buds. Now everything tastes like shit, but that's okay. I'm gonna poke your tongue with this thumbtack. And you let me know if you taste anything, okay? So, again, really quickly. Please just stick your tongue out. 
good. Stick it out, good. And I'm just gonna poke that really quick right there, good. And do you taste anything in particular? At all, anything? Blood, good. What's it taste like? Taste a little bit like iron. Well, that's very interesting. Never would have guessed that. Very interesting. Stick your tongue out again for me. Thank you. Oh, yes. I didn't mean to poke you that hard. It just kind of happened. I apologize. Stick it out one more time. Good. So we've done vision, sense of feeling in your face, and we've done taste and smell. Oh, now we need to test your, your ears on the sides of your head there, these things your hearing boxes. If you hear of any job opportunities in this city of Gotham, I would love to hear about it. Get it? It's a hearing joke. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Okay, let me know if you can hear this, okay? You can hear that, okay? Good, that's good to know. Okay. Let me know if you can hear this. You can, you can hear that? Okay, good. Here with this piece of newspaper. Let me know if you can hear it, okay? That you can hear that good? Okay, good news. Now I'm gonna make and sounds on the sides of your head and you just let me know when you can hear it and when you cannot hear it anymore. Good. Can't hear it anymore. Good. That's very good. Okay. Good, good, good. Well, my dear friend, that pretty much sums it up for our tests. 
and studies have shown here today that you are just like everyone else out there in Gotham, really just normal and okay, just good, fine and dandy. It's becoming more and more lonely for me every day. And I was hoping that maybe you and me would have something in common, but we don't at all. We're actually quite different indeed. So, go ahead and open your mouth. I know it's hard to resist because your hands are tied behind your back. So you really don't have an option. Open your mouth. Good. Go ahead and just drink that. No need to cough. It's already begun. It has already begun. And I can see your eyes getting red already. That's only for the dead, silly. You'll be there soon enough. Now don't be too loud. I'm trying to relax. Really, keep it down. Here's a little oxygen to keep you up a little longer. See you next time, friend.